Hello everyone, how are you today? So this video is recorded on the 13th of April and this is on Tuesday. So today um, I would like to look at some uh, Euro pairs especially and uh, see what's happening at the market. So this video is recorded on, at the uh, 7.57 in UTC time zone AM. So uh, let's check some charts now and before starting anything here just a quick disclaimer this information is uh, basically based on my own understanding and experience knowledge so when you take trades please do with your own risk management so uh let's see euro pairs let's check and see what's happening so let's take a look at the daily charts and euro this is euro dollar daily chart now it's ranging we have the Kumo flat, Senko span B flat, A flat, and Kijun Sen flat right now. So, at a glance, you know that this is ranging. And also, Chikou span is overlapping uh, the past candle, so this is also the sign of the range in the daily chart. But let's check the 4 hour chart and see what's happening. So, in 4 hour chart, okay, so now this is flat. The Kumo flat, Senko span B flat, A flat. And also the Kijun Sen is flat too. Um, but the momentum wise, this is still bullish because the price itself is above Tenkan Kijun Kumo and Chikou Span above the candles. So the market can break this uh, P wave or you, you can call also the uh, squeezing triangle. It can still break upwards this way. But direction wise, as Senko Span Bei and Kijun Sen shows, this is ranging. So the price could retrace backwards tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, it might go backwards and it might still be in a range until it breaks. In this case, the potential breakout, sorry, the potential breakout direction is uptrend because I can see once again the P wave and the momentum is bullish so it can break upwards. But once the market comes below this uh, Tenkan Kijun Sen, then it can break downwards but in this case this is more bullish side on the flower chart it's been the consecutive bullish in the wave and the market is into the p wave now so there are higher chance that the market breaks upwards than downwards is my view but now it's ranging so uh there is no trend direction in four and daily chart so better to stay away so let me take out this flag this orange one because now this is in the range. So at a glance, you can identify whether the market is ranging, trending, and um, you can decide uh, whether you take time to look at the lower time frames or just stay away. So let me screen the pairs on the daily chart for today. So this is Euro dollar. Once again, it's flat. And let's see, Euro OZ, this is also flat. Right now, as per daily chart, we have the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, price is into the Kumo, so the market might be resisted at the previous resistance at this 1.565 or at this 1.5691. It could be resisted and it goes backwards in the daily time frame. However, on the forward chart, this still looks to be bullish. Gradually, it's going up this way. And um, but now we have the uh, long week pointing upwards uh, from uh, on the 9th of April. So unless it breaks, it might still reverse backwards. So we have to be careful in this case on these retracements. And I would say that this is not a really good one to look for the buy chance because it might retrace backwards soon as per daily chart and also the forward chart week pointing upwards this way. So uh, let's see. So Euro Pound is also ranging. It's flat in Kumo, flat Kijun Sen, and price is between the uh, the Kijun Sen and Kumo here. And it looks like the market has been resisted by this uh, Senko Span B, and gradually it's going down. But one thing I don't like about this market is this for the recent three days has been the Doji candles. Doji candle is where the body itself is very tiny 
and we have the long wicks up and, up and downwards. So these are the doji candles. And today, looks like this is another doji forming. So doji candles mean that this is in, in the daily charts, so uh, for, the, for the recent three days, it's been ranging. It just going up and down and ranging. So uh, there is no direction in the market. So this is not a good one either to spend time to, for the entry chance. So Euro JPY is also ranging. The Kumo is up, so that's, this is nice. This is a uh, uptrend in the long term. But in the mid term, uh, Kijun Sen is flat. Chikou span is getting closer to the candles, so this is ranging. We have the two resistances here. Uh, this is a 130.67 level. So it's registered, so it might go backwards to Kijun Sen in this case. So this is another uh, not really a good one uh, to take trades either. So let's see, EuroCAD um, is also retracing backwards. The market broke the Kijun Sen. Chikou Span is touching almost with the past candles. So this is ranging and no trend. The daily, sorry, uh, the, uh, the long term, the Kumo sloping down, so this is good. Downtrend in the long term, but uh, in the mid to short term, it's becoming bullish. So it's, this is where the uh, long term sellers and short to mid term buyers are fighting. And that's why the market broke the Kijun Sen and it might become volatile. Or we might see some uh, doji candles too within this uh, within the area of the Kijun Sen and Kumo. So we have to be careful for this spike up and downwards and I would say that this is also not really a good timing to look for any trade chances. And Euro Sisfran is also going into the Kumo here. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So this is not a good one either. It's been downtrending for uh, for uh, previous week, but now we have today. This is bullish candle, and now this is into the Kumo here. So it's ranging, no trend, and no trace. So um, for now, I'm I'm actually focusing on the daily charts, the pound CAD. The pound CAD looks to, looks still looks to be bearish. Uh, but now, okay, so this is now retracing backwards. Today is retracement, so uh, there is no direction in the market either. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and uh, the market is in the Y wave. This is called the Y wave. We have the, uh, the highs are kind of higher and lows are lower, and this is Y wave structure. And if when I see Y wave like this, in any time frames, in this case daily chart, then I avoid to take trades on the daily chart because it becomes very tricky. Um, it can go up all the way to the previous re uh, resistance level, but it might not be reaching to that level. It might be resisted by the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen and going backwards, and it's very difficult to read in this case on the Y wave structure. So I would avoid. On this one either so um, I will just take out this flag too and the next one I was watching yesterday was the um, Aussie CAD um, okay so this one is also ranging now we have the Kuma flat Kijun Sen flat Tenkan Sen also flat so this is ranging no trend and no trace and we have the forming doji candlestick for today so there is no trend so I will take out this flag too and the next one I was watching was the CAD JPY. Let's see, okay, CAD JPY still looks to be bullish, but now one thing to remember is that the market is going backwards and below the Kijun Sen now. So if the market is still above the Kijun Sen, then there was a good chance that the market goes up afterwards continuously, but now the price is sloping down below the Kijun Sen. But the Kumo's up, Senko span B up, A up, and it's got the nice thickness of the Kumo, and this is long enough. So in, in the long term, as Kumo shows, this is a nice uptrend. And in the mid term, this is an uptrend too. But because the price is breaking the Kijun Sen in the daily chart, it might retrace backwards to the Kumo. 
So in this case, in this particular example, I will wait until this candlestick closes. If this candlestick close will become above the Kijun Sen, and then from tomorrow, I will still look for the buy chance. But if it closes below Kijun Sen today, then um, I won't look for the buy chance yet anymore. We might see some downtrend in forward chart, then uh, we can follow the forward chart downtrend in that case. But now as per the daily chart, this is into the range. And if it goes downwards today, tomorrow, then uh, that will make the Chikou span touch the candle. And this is another sign of the range. So from tomorrow on this pair, I won't look for the buy chance anymore. So um, yeah, looks like the market has been quite tricky right now. It's been ranging, retracing everywhere. So what I do in this case is that the, uh, basically I stay away. Uh, last week I came back from Dubai to Japan and I was uh, in a quarantine in a hotel for three days and I just came back home uh, three days ago. But uh, yeah, now that the market is ranging, so in this case I either read books that I haven't been able to read yet. I was I will be planning to read books, and also, uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I'm actually recreating, reorganizing the Ichimoku community, so I will spend time on that, and also uh, I will spend time to communicate with uh, you know other traders on in the GTS members or in other traders. I will prefer to spend time on these, so. In this case, once again, this is not the good timing to check charts because it looks like everything is ranging. So uh, we better stay away. We better stay away. Tomorrow, maybe we have some trends, but at least today as of now, um, looks like the market has been ranging. So I would say that this is not really a good timing to spend time to look for any trading edges. So. As a Forex full-time trader, my advice for today is that you better know which one, which market to spend time to look for the edges and which one you don't want to look for the edges and spend time. Because if you spend time on the ranging market and where to buy, where to sell, maybe uh, one hour or 30 minutes or maybe uh, two hours, you might spend time to look for buy or sell chances, then uh, you might get nothing. The market might go upwards or downwards towards the direction, but it might soon retrace backwards. So in that sense, this is not really time efficient to take trades. So yeah, my advice for today is just stay away until tomorrow. So. Um, Another thing that I would like to bring it, bring about is the news, because every day I check news. So today is the 13th and we had some uh, Euro uh, news just earlier and also Pound news too. And today, as an important news, we have the uh, CPI in the US. At the uh, 12.30 UTC, we have the CPI in the US, so USD could be affected by that. and it might actually, uh, you know, uh, it might uh, contribute to the trend direction. So uh, let's see. So USD pairs, if I can talk about it, uh, for example, uh, dollar JPY, it's retracing backwards too in the daily chart. Uh, it just broke the Kijun Sen downwards yesterday, and now I don't even look at this chart. But let's say today's USD, there's a news. And uh, let's say this is positive. The the numbers were 0.1 previous, and consensus the market consensus is 0.2. But let's say the outcome becomes 0.4 uh, at a news release at this 12:30, uh, and then USD might be bought, and the market can go up afterwards like this fundamental by by this fundamental news, and from tomorrow. From tomorrow, it might turn bullish. So uh, 
And this is another reason why I check news every day because it can actually affect the ranging market to trending market after the news. So uh, that's one thing to note. So uh, yeah, we have uh, yeah two kinds of uh, USD news today. So let's see what happens afterwards. As per currency strength chart, real quick now we have the uh, pound is sold. JPY is pretty strong today, and USD ranging, Euro is also ranging. The Swiss franc is very weak today, so I think it's going backwards too. So uh, yeah, no market goes up stably and no market goes down stably all time. It goes up and down and once it retracing backwards like this as per Ichimoku confirmations, we better stay away. Just check charts and watch market news and see if the market goes towards the direction after the news or so. And then we can come back to chart tomorrow. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please press a good button. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so uh, yeah, please uh, please uh, stay healthy and stay gold. All right, bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.